This is a fun little video that I call Thomas the Tank Engine Makes Bubbles for Puppies. I put a bubble making machine into one of the troublesome trucks and I had Thomas pull it around my backyard. And the reason I did that is because we're fostering a litter of puppies for Woods Humane Society and we have to keep them entertained or they just get into trouble. I figured the puppies would get a kick out of it and that they'd either chase the train around the yard or go chasing after the bubbles. But they had never seen a train before and didn't realize the trains are fun, not scary. So Thomas went around and around my backyard, making bubbles the entire way, and at first the puppies kept a lot of distance from the train. This one, his name is Buddy, hid under a lounger for safety. Instead of chasing the train around like I had hoped, they mostly watched from a safe distance at first. Buddy eventually got hungry, so he grabbed a few bites of kibble. But as Thomas and the bubble car passed by, it scared him off. On the next go-round, Buddy was drinking some water and his leg was just a little too close to the tracks. But these pups are strong and bumping into Thomas didn't hurt Buddy at all. I built a little A-frame for the puppies and they have a lot of fun with it. It's often the focal point of puppy playtime. They play around it. They play underneath it, they climb up it, and sometimes they tumble down it. So I placed the A-frame over the tracks, making a little tunnel for Thomas, and I thought it might be fun for the puppies to play on it as Thomas came through. At first, the pups kept their distance, but it wasn't long before they started playing around the A-frame. And if you watch Buddy, the black and white pup, you'll see here, he actually goes under the A-frame just as Thomas is approaching. Somehow he manages to scoot over out of the way just enough to let Thomas pass through. In this clip, there are three puppies blocking the tunnel, and Thomas does not make it through this time. He gets derailed, but that doesn't stop the bubble machine. It's still going strong. We call this puppy Beethoven, because he has a bit of a resemblance to the dog from the 1992 movie of the same name. Watch Beethoven have a little run-in with Thomas here. That's how you learn to stay out of the way of a train. This puppy is named Belle. She has learned her lesson by now, and Belle stays out of Thomas's way. A little later, Belle stumbles over the tracks as she tries to get out of the way, but she regains her footing and does not have a run-in with Thomas. Here's Buddy sitting right on the tracks as Thomas approaches. I'll freeze it right here and give you a chance to predict what happens next. Does Buddy get out of the way? Do Buddy and Thomas have a big crash? Or do I drop the camera, scoop up Buddy in my arms, and save him from getting run over? We'll take a quick break and find out right after this what ended up happening. Yeah, Buddy's a smart pup. He knows that when a train comes, you have to get out of the way. 
this pup has an interesting way of sliding down the A-frame. Her name is Blizzard because of that solid white coat. And notice the cute black ring at the base of her tail. This is my favorite pup in the litter. I call him Bob. He's got a graceful way of sliding off the A-frame. Belle is nowhere near as smooth with her technique as she tries to get off the A-frame when Thomas approaches. Maybe someday she'll be graceful, but she's not there yet. Beethoven just kind of scampers off when he notices Thomas approaching. Now you would think with the train spewing bubbles as it goes by that Buddy would chase them, but no. And speaking of Buddy, this is not a smart move here, going into the tunnel just as the train approaches. But somehow, Buddy gets away with it. After a while, it started to irritate me that the puppies weren't chasing the train or the bubbles. So I came up with a plan to attract the puppies to the train. I added one more car onto the train and filled it with puppy food. Is that brilliant or what? And then I put Thomas in motion at very slow speed to see if the pups would follow along. And they did. I had the bubble machine switched off so it wouldn't get soap in their food. Believe it or not, in three weeks with these puppies, we went through 70 pounds of dog food. After a while, they attacked that food with such energy that they actually derailed the car. Then, because their attention was focused more on the train than it had been, I turned on the bubble maker, and for a moment there, I thought that the brown one was going to chase the bubbles. But no. These puppies were just too into the food to care about anything else. And notice that Thomas was still trying to keep moving, and eventually the puppies backed off a little and Thomas was able to start going again. But once Thomas made it into the tunnel, the pups really went into a feeding frenzy. And there was a whole lot of puppy energy going on here. So much energy, in fact, that they somehow managed to separate the food car from the rest of the train. So Thomas and the bubble machine were able to break away. And Thomas eventually made his way all the way around the loop and made it right back around to where the puppies and that derailed food car were. But there was no getting past them, that was for sure. With this many puppies blocking the way, you're not gonna get through. They eventually finished every last bite of food in that rail car. Well, by the time you see this video, all of these puppies will have gone on to their new permanent homes. Five of them are being adopted by people we know, so we'll be able to stay in touch over the coming years. It was our pleasure to foster these puppies for Woods Humane Society. It was the sixth litter we fostered this year. If you enjoyed this video, whether it was because of the puppies or the G-Scale model trains or maybe a little bit of both, hit the thumbs up button. I'll put links up on the screen to a few of my other videos you might enjoy. And if you don't want to miss my future videos about model trains, cruise ships, and all the things I find interesting in the world, subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so you don't miss a thing. I'm Jim Zim. Thanks for watching.